hello everyone welcome back to my channel so i get asked a lot how do i make these grooves on my soap how do i make these lines that you're seeing these beautiful lines on my laundry bar soap and this soap when i made it i got asked how did i make it how did i get this kind of color the texture and everything that's what we are going to discuss okay so um this is me making my soap here and I'm going to show you a link to where I made this kind of soap. I've made this soap before and I shared the complete recipe with you guys. I'm going to send the link over again. Okay, so that you see. This soap has my palm oil. It has PKO. It has it's, um, silicate. It has sugar. It has caustic and soda ash. That is just all. Okay, that is just all I used. I've shared this recipe before. So that's what I'll be using for my laundry soap. And I'm going to send the link to you in case you've not watched it before. I'll send the link to you to see how it's how I made this soap. Okay. The only difference is that I made this soap and I cut it into different okay, okay, shapes. No? This one, as you can see, this one is large. Okay. So let's go to the point where I make the grooves. This is how I make it. Okay, using my groove maker. Very, very simple and easy. You can see. And now, advice before you make these grooves, you allow your soap to at least, let's say you omol today and you cut today, keep it for like three to four days before you make this groove so that the soap would have hardened well enough, ready for you to take to the market so that the, the grooves will come out very smooth and neat, okay? And you know you have to press the soap against the this device making the holes so that the soap won't be too soft and be squishy you can see this how neat it looks okay you can see how neat it looks and this groove oh, maker that i'm using it? has the provision for both big bar of soap the type they sell 250 like this one is the big bar of soap okay bar. and and do and for the small bar of soap the type they sell 100 naira it has provision for that. It also has provision yeah, for me. edge trimmer and um, also the lines that I usually put on top of a soap, like baby and me, those kind of lines put on top of the soap. So it's like a four in one, okay? So you can see when you're doing it, you push carefully along, gradually. Don't do it too fast like that. Even though the line might end up getting slanted, but you apply firm pressure press it to the edge of the wood and then apply firm, firm pressure and push. Now, another way of doing this is to do it when the soap is still in long bars. But I was so tired, I've been standing throughout the day making soap, cutting soap. So even though I have this on my table cutter, I also have it on a separate cutter. Like this one now that you see, this one is the four in one. It has for big soap and for small soap. So even though I have it on my table cutter, because I've been standing for so long, I decided to sit down and do this. So now let's say you are doing it on the table cutter or you have, you're doing it on a table. You'll be able to cut long bars, okay? You'll be able to make the holes on the long bar first before cutting. That might make it faster for you because when you're pushing the long bar completely, you'll be able to do it faster than doing a short shot like this. But nevertheless, both methods work. Now, this is a smaller soap. You can see this is a smaller soap. Okay. So, thank you so much for watching up to this point. And if you've not subscribed to my channel and you have watched up to this point, ah, what are you waiting for? Here we learn a lot of things, okay? People learn from us here and teach you. So this is not a channel you want to miss if you're interested in learning soap making. Our training is not what you want to miss. A lot of people from this, our trainings are teaching other people, are making a livelihood from both our trainings and even what we teach on YouTube. So you don't want to miss that, okay? So it's nice talking to you guys or you can call me for anything. Ciao!